Are you ready for a tricky logo test? I've got one for you to test your observation skills. Don't forget to keep your score and share your results in the comments below. Okay, at first, I'll be showing you two logos. One is correct and the other is fake. You'll have to tell me which one is the right one, okay? Let's go then. What about this logo of Samsung? Yes, of course, it's this one. Next up, Dota 2. Even if you aren't a gamer, you probably know it well enough to recognize the right logo. Yes, that's the one on the right. What about L'Oreal? Correct, it's this one. Boston Red Sox, what's the correct logo? Yes, it's the one on the right. I bet you've seen it lots of times. It'll help you find the Windows logo. Here it is, did you get it right? Chromium, a web browser, what do you say? Yes, it's this one. Concentrate, it's getting harder. Can you remember the real logo of the New York Giants, a football team? It's the one on the left. Abar, an Italian racing car brand. Which logo is it? This one, of course. Valentino, a luxury brand. Can you spot the correct logo? Right here, this one. Great job, let's move on. Tissau, a watch brand. Where is the original? It's the one on the right. Think hard and find Statler. That's the one. This social networking service used to be extremely popular. I'm talking about MySpace. Can you find its logo now? It's this one. Can you recognize the correct logo of San Francisco's Golden State Warriors? Yes, of course, it's this one. Next up, Isu. What's the correct logo? Yes, that's the one. This one might be a bit hard, but I believe in you. Where is the correct World Health Organization logo? It's this one. Did you get it right? Now let's change the task a bit. I'll be showing you logos and you'll need to recognize them. Here's the first one. Do you remember what brand it is? Correct, it's Huawei. Any ideas here? It's Tiffany & Co. I'm sure you know this one, so what is it? That's New Balance. Easy peasy, what is this? That's Uber. Another simple one, what do you say? Google Earth. Okay, do you know what this G stands for? It's The Guardian, a famous British newspaper. What about this one? It's Maserati, a car brand. Great job. What are your thoughts? Another car brand, a German one this time. It's Maybach. This can be tough, but I believe in you. Any ideas? That's Sumitomo, a tire manufacturer. This one is very famous. It's Tom Ford. Any ideas? Yep, it's Grammarly. That's something you probably know. UNESCO, 
the United Nations agency that promotes peace and security. So, do you recognize it? It's Smug Mug. What is this brand? That's Longines, a luxury watchmaker. Something a bit harder for you. What do you think? It's Herbal Essences, a hair care brand. Hmm, just a blue circle? Can you figure out what it is? That's USA Today. Does it ring a bell? It's Amnesty International. Do you recognize this brand? It's Royal Cannon, a pet food brand. Another simple one. What's your call? Blackberry. What about this one? It's Yamaha. Did you figure it out? This app used to be an absolute hit for a while. What is this? It's Clubhouse. What about this logo? Do you know what they sell? Watches. It's Breguet. This one is trickier. What is it? It's Digital Trends, a tech news website. This might not be obvious for everyone, but give it a try. What do you say? It's Chicago Bears, an American football team. Do you know this logo? It's Tidal, a music, podcast, and streaming service. What about this one? Does it look familiar? That's Badoo, a dating app. Another logo you likely know well. What is this? That's Safeway. Any thoughts on this one? This is Jimmy Dean. This might look hard, but it's a well-known brand. Burt's Bees. Can you drag it out of your memory? Lint, a chocolate producer. What about this horse? That's Denver Broncos, a football club. It sure looks cool, but what is this? That's Lincoln Park. How about this one? Yeah, that's Legendary Entertainment, a movie production company. Any ideas? Flashbacks? That's Lady Bird Books, a book publisher. Not everyone knows it, but it's kind of famous. It's the logo of the World Digital Library. Can you recognize it? That's Tyson Foods. Okay, how about this rabbit? Where does it come from? It's PETA, an animal rights organization. Can you recognize this logo? It's New York Mets, a baseball team from New York. This logo is very famous, but will you recognize it? That's Cargill, a global food corporation. Let's see if you know this one. That's FEE, or the Foundation for Environmental Education. And now, another type of task again. This one is the hardest. I'll be showing you little pieces of logos, and you'll need to recognize them. Do you think you'll manage? Let's check. Here's the first one for you. Any guesses? It's Nestle. Okay, just a little piece, but it's not as hard as it seems.
Just mirror it and you'll get Motorola's logo. Do you recognize this face? What are your thoughts? This is the logo of the Boston Celtics, a basketball team. A trickier one for you. It's Mental Floss, an online magazine. This one is easy to recognize. So what do you say? Of course, it's Alfa Romeo, a car brand. What about this one? Can you tell? That's Macy's. Does it ring a bell? Think about it. Bastille, a pop rock band. It's a very famous company. That's Hasbro. What about this piece? That's Los Angeles Angels, a baseball club. Just several letters for you to recognize the whole logo. Do you think you can do it? That's Greenpeace. What about this one? Can you guess it? That's The Doors, a music band. You're likely to recognize this one easily. Let's see. That's Vans. Look, this one's so cool. What do you think it is? That's Fortnite, a computer game. This is one of the hardest puzzles in this test. Here's your piece. What do you say? It's Partners in Health, an organization that works to strengthen health systems. What's your call? That's Urban Dictionary. So, how did you fare? Let me know how many points you've got. Anna went on vacation to Hawaii and stayed at a luxury hotel. The hotel manager told her that they had only three empty rooms left. Anna could choose the room she liked best. Can you help her make a wise choice? There's no mosquito net on the window in the second room, and something's wrong with the door handle in the third room. So, Anna should choose the first room. Anna went to the hotel swimming pool. She spotted three odd details in the area right away. Can you see them too? There's no ladder in the pool. There are two suns in the sky, and this guy is sunbathing in a winter coat. After lunch, Anna decided to go on a boat trip. At the pier, she met three sailors. Bob offered her a three-hour sailing and fishing trip for $10 only. Kyle offered Anna a personal diving class for $200, and Daniela offered to have a boat trip around the coastal cliffs for free. But only one of these offers is actually a good deal. Can you guess which one? Kyle's offer is overpriced. Look at the poster hanging at the pier. It advertises personal diving classes for $20. And Daniela's offer isn't safe. Her boat has a broken bottom. That's why Anna should accept Bob's offer. Anna woke up on a deserted island in the middle of a hot day. The sun was shining very bright, so she needed to find a water source as soon as possible. There's the sea nearby, but she can't drink salty water. She found an abandoned cabin that contained some really handy items. Two empty paint cans, one large and one small, a roll of aluminum foil, one baseball, an old pair of sneakers, and some other useful things. Which one of these additional items can Anna use to combine with the previous items to obtain drinking water? A book? A handful of tiny pebbles or a plastic bag? The book is useless in this context. The pebbles can be found all over the shore, 
As for the plastic bag, Anna can fill one half of the larger paint can with seawater, then put the smaller can inside of it. Next, she should use the laces from the sneakers to pull the plastic bag tight over the large can. And finally, place the baseball on top of the plastic bag directly above the smaller can to make a small indentation. Then, just leave this construction in the sun. Drinking water will evaporate and condense on the plastic bag. The indentation will push the water into the smaller paint can. Anna decided to explore the island. Soon, she found a tunnel and got lost inside it. At the bottom of the tunnel, Anna saw three pits leading to freedom. But, unfortunately, every pit is hiding some danger. A huge squid is hiding in the first pit. There's a hungry hyena in the second pit and there's a poisonous porcupine hiding on the third path. Can you help Anna choose the safest way to escape? Anna should choose the pit with the squid. They can't live in conditions that differ from the marine habitat. Therefore, she should wait for a while. The squid will get weaker and she'll be able to escape safely. Anna got hungry and went to the jungle to find some food. But she's not alone here. Can you find any hidden animals in this picture? There are six animals in the jungle. Here they are. A butterfly, an alligator, a rabbit, a camel, a snake, and a deer. Finally, Anna found three bushes with berries. They all look delicious, but only one of them is safe to eat. Can you help Anna make the right choice? She should take a look at the monkeys. They stay away from the first bush because it's a mutant plant. See? It has teeth and emanates toxic gases. Meanwhile, the monkeys enjoy berries from the second and third bushes. But a cobra is hiding under the third bush. So the second bush is the safest choice. Anna got sunburned during her walk. Which item from the cabin can she use to cool down? Aluminum foil? Fresh water from the paint can? Or the sponge with some seawater? The sponge with salty water will only make it worse for Anna's irritated skin. And the drinking water is too precious to waste on bathing. Meanwhile, metallic foil is a great tool to cool down a shelter. Anna can cover the roof and the cabin walls and deflect some of the sun's heat. The next day, Anna continued her travel around the island and came across an abandoned village. She found a car with the keys still in it. The car was parked outside the local library. But before Anna could do something about it, a nearby volcano erupted. She didn't see any signs of glowing red lava, but a huge cloud of black smoke was moving towards her. It'll reach the place where Anna's standing in a minute. What should she do? 1. Head down to the library's basement, which is filled with vampire bats. 2. Take the stairs to the library's roof and hide there. Or take the car and try to ride away. Volcanic dust is very hot and moves at high speed. Anna cannot either outrun the dust or hide from the clouds on the roof. So the safest option is to lock herself in the basement with creepy bat neighbors. In the basement, Anna noticed a big wall clock. It happened when the minute and hour hand was precisely between 1 and 2. She saw that both hands lay on top of each other. Can you guess what the time was? Twelve o'clock. Both minute and hour hands lay exactly between the number one and two in the middle of the number twelve. Anna looked around and found a secret passage in the basement. She entered the passage and fell into a subterranean river, which carried her away to a large waterfall and then to a much bigger river surrounded by rocky cave walls. She tried to swim away, but the force of the waterfall had created a reverse current, 
pulling her backwards with an intense force. Anna needs to act fast. What would you suggest? Swim onward through the crashing water, swim to the side and try to climb the walls, or dive as deep as possible and then swim out of the waterfall's pull. Swimming onward isn't an option. The current will pull her back anyway. The chances of directly overcoming the forces of the water are zero. But if Anna goes downward as deep as possible where the water current is not so strong, she still has a good chance to escape. As soon as Anna got outside, she met a wicked witch. She offered Anna a deal. You need to run one of these three tunnels colored red, blue, and yellow. Two of them lead to a black hole, while another leads to your hotel room. Listen to my clues very carefully. Choose the reed and you won't disappear. It's a lie to say that blue isn't dissimilar. The yellow doesn't have less in common with the red than the blue. Can you help Anna make the right choice? The witch said that the red tunnel won't not make her disappear, which means that Anna will disappear. So we can exclude the red one, and the yellow doesn't have less in common with the red than the blue, which means that the yellow does have more in common with the red. So now we can exclude the yellow one as well. Anna should choose the blue tunnel.